What up, and we're here, Smoked Out Ontario with Superior. Everyone make some noise! Yeah. Oh. I got a couple sponsors I'd like to thank. Bedman, Purple Gang, Day Ones, Royal Thieves, Bedlam, Tricks, Crocs, Jimmy Stacy, Manet Construction, as well as myself. We got a co-host right here. It's Jesse J, man, representing Smoked Out AB and MB, man. Holler at me if you want to battle any of those platforms, man. It's been an awesome time so far, so thank you all for having us, man. Yeah, we are. And I got another very special co-host. <laughs> hey War Team Dot Daily IVYTG. What up, Thunder Bay? How y'all doing, man? Yeah. yeah. We flipped the coin. Pac-Man won, or Pac-Man won. It is first round on Mighty Big Bird, but first, oh, let God. the guys introduce themselves. Yo, it's Pac-Man, aka the Dab Man, aka Mr. Bottom of the Card, yep. aka Mr. Bottom of your mother's heart. Yep. Got a couple. Yeah. Of, I got a couple yeah. of shout. Yeah. I, I got a couple of shout outs. Men Man Brand, Easy Extractors, and Canna Bake Box, and uh, Wheeler in the Morning Podcast. Shout out Safety Net Studios as well. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Please, guys, keep it down. And Battler to my left. What's up? It's Mighty Big Bird. We just out here at Thunder Bay doing another day. About to murder someone, check it out. <laughs> yeah, never step, just take a step back over this way, guys. Once again, it's first round on Mighty Big Bird. Whenever he's ready. <clears throat> Yo. <laughs> I'm OJ on the holidays. I'm carving up some white meat. I'm about to take the glove off on your mom and give her this dog meat just to make you a brother for the lack of having friends. This stupid hillbilly does nothing but scream dirty and rap events. <laughs> like, let me guess how you live. Dirty is the way. There ain't no showers here, folk. Pac Man came to play. But if that's the case, I'm a back right up. I can't take no chance. After this battle, I'm gonna fuck you. Wash my hands. Yeah. <laughs> you filthy motherfucker, ain't no chance to be clear. You gotta be at least this tall to even battle down here. <laughs> like, who you booking, billboard? Got me battling nothing but a dick rider. 807 to win a peg, it doesn't matter. I'ma tenderize the battle, throw it in the oven, and 420 makes a panic after. Yeah. Let's back right up, let's back right up. You is a meal, boy! <laughs> and I'm hungry. Fuck, so I'ma make you a deal, boy. You answer this one question honestly, I just might go easy. How many bars do you write on your own completely? Cause I got a theory. Involves you trading ass for bars and taking it deeply. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. I don't wanna know. <laughs> but for the sake of the rap game, here I go. Your face looks like a dirty for <laughs> your face. <laughs> your face looks like a dirty foreskin on top of a goblin who was beat with a crowbar and kicked off of a mountain on top of a pile of shit the size of a fountain. <laughs> and your bars fucking suck. That's why you always lose. So take this hard pill to swallow. Then I'm better than you, bitch. Time. <laughs> So he's saying that I don't write my own bars. Uh -huh. Like that's just supposed to be offensive. We all know that you get your recycled bars from C-section. Like, no. <laughs> like it's Pac-Man versus Big Bird. I think you should rename, cause this is a Bugatti to a train. We ain't even in the same lane. Like, you fucking lame. This matchup honestly put me in the rage. After I beat this cat, this be Adam with you. So I'll be locked in the cage. So, no. so I mean. So, I'm in your house. I won't make a sound. I'll probably be looking down because you probably have a mattress on the ground. <laughs> One shot, bow. You won't hear a sound because the gun more quiet than an MCW round. <laughs> but honestly, you're so gay, you're not worth my time of day. So you can all only get these MCW throwaways. You know what I'm saying? MCW? What? I don't fuck with you. Your mom never loved you too, and your dad never could hug you too. Like, it's a flashback. Starting to feel something like deja vu, but I'm known to be on these imposters, so you can call me Ragu. Got a long nose. Known okay. to be aiming right at you, so. Uh -oh. So, like, like this shit is weird. And I really want to say holy moly. Cause I'm actually battling a shit emoji. But it makes sense. Your name is Mighty Big Turd. I mean Bird. <laughs> Make some noise, guys! Yeah. Oh, Set 
Check it out, Almighty Big Bird. Yo, yo. This motherfucker looks constipated with the fear of getting dominated in front of the whole crowd against Mr. Exonerated. So I'm gonna make this one clear. Pac-Man, you are guilty on all accounts. Started with being an ugly fuck and always stressing your moms out. <laughs> but I have to digress though. Your mom's the best hoe. <laughs> Even if her son's retarded like his name is Radio. <laughs> oh! But fuck the family history, I can hardly care less. Pac-Man ain't a threat with a quarter in my pocket. Just for 25 cents, he'll gobble your balls away. Let himself get played, but now he bout to die today. Oh. Man, you really fucking suck, and I say that with no respect. Like, why are you even here? Your parents, they must neglect. I'm getting really fucking tired of the shit that you say. From your shitty catchphrases to the bars you said today. And ever since you've been here, it stinks like Winnipeg. Oh! <laughs> I'm talking dirty crack whores and weekday old mayonnaise. <laughs> what? What? Don't think of me as nice because we know that's not the case. I was ambushed with this battle because you was a disgrace. When they said the battle, Alex, I was like, hey, hold up, wait. Alex, this dude named Pac-Man? Four foot nothing ain't exactly a man. And battling a hobbit is something that should be banned, so get the fuck out of my face, Frodo. Go find your man, Sam. <laughs> Make some noise! Oh, that right, too, right, Pac-Man! Right, Yo, billboard! Yo, billboard, this matchup, this shit really hurts, because I thought I was actually battling a drunk bee bird. <laughs> like, seriously, billboard, this battle could have meant everything, but it's clearly I'm not battling the big bird from Sesame Street. But, like, your body, you're, you're mighty, but you're not quite above it because your body is an addiction of the footprint of Snuffleupagus. Like, like you, you probably say in my battles that I'm nervous and kind of squirmy, but you're known for fucking your best friend, like, Bert and Ernie, so... But this shit ain't something that you'd probably be like, yeah, I did well, because this battle is sponsored by the letter L, so... <laughs> Like, for pitch, <laughs> like, I just hit you with an elbow. Your, your voice is so high, like Elmo. So I don't give a shit if you're fingering your own world. I bet you, you never even had sex with a girl. Like, like, they say me, my name, is part of the game. Well, that's well. But you got no game boy, so you never got a hand held. So, oh, okay. time. <laughs> Make some noise, guys! Big Bird. Listen! I said listen! Boy, you so stupid that I cannot express. Sweater so long, look like you wearing a dress. <laughs> Between you and Caitlyn Jenner, I think you are at the best. I support your lifestyle. Give that closet a rest. Man. Hinge is falling off and the door about to break. Catch the one and the two, I'll be speaking at your wake. Uh -huh. Golden shower on the crowd, cause that was their first mistake. To be a fucking friend of yours, get <laughs> cock slapped in the face. Yeah. What? Because you really ain't about this type shit. You run home and call 911 type shit. You make your mama slice the crust off on your sandwich type shit. Now you live you snuggle Mr. Cuddles at that nighttime type shit. Man, you fucking bitch. You in the bird's nest now and there ain't no great escape. I'ma scalp your face off while puffing on a vape. Do a fucking war cry while raiding out your case. I'ma tell you one time why they put me in first place. No. You lack originality, and I say that with truth. I can tell your favorite battle rappers by listening to you. Oh. And second, you need confidence, which you clearly don't have. Go back to the fucking prom and ask a girl to dance. <laughs> and lastly, get rid of your stu 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 stutter. Motherfuckers be chopping through that shit like but 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 butter. <laughs> Like that? <laughs> I know you felt that. You got this tingle in your eye like you know that I said that. But I'm gonna leave it at that. Time. Thank you for coming out. Make some noise, guys! Third and final round of the battle. Let's go. Oh, shit. Yo, when he battled Bones, he said lunchtime, and he felt comfortable. That shit's true. 
because he said lunchtime, because that's the only thing he passed in school, so. <laughs> like, like, I bet you, you never skipped a meal. Yeah, me neither. I bet you, you know your way around a meat cleaver. I bet you when you eat steak, you don't even use a fork. Okay, he does, the pitch one. <laughs> what else? I bet you you're so stupid. Like quick style, you can't spell one. Jesse's laughing at that one. <laughs> Yo, for you, you mentioned my catchphrase, but honestly, you're not even worthy. I can get that 3030 by just standing here and just saying dirty. Oh. Like, honestly, back turn to him. Why do I even spit to you? My last opponent didn't say a word. Neither should you. <laughs> Time. Make some noise, guys! Yeah. Yeah. We will be right back with the judge's decision. Everybody, make some noise for that fucking hilarious battle. Yeah. And the winner is Mighty Big Bird. Send me titty pics. <laughs>